give up the job hunt, come and see me and I'll show you a good time. Get in contact when you're a big boy, Ben. Not now, I'm busy, thank you. Thought you could use something hot and wet inside you. <laughs> well, it makes a change from being in my lap, I guess. <laughs> Let's take a seat. Robbie, not here yet? Give him half a chance, Rita. It's only ten to. Yeah, but if you're not ten minutes early, you're late. That's what my dad used to tell me. Mm, sound advice. Look, Doug, before he gets here, is it a good idea to expand the business this quickly? Oh, well, you too, Rita. I've already had my ear bent off by Paul and chewed off by Jack. I just thought it was all happening a bit too fast. Let me tell you something, Rita. I'm the manager of doorstops, and I'm getting increasingly fed up with being questioned about every decision I make. Now, I work bloody hard for this place, and I'm damned if I'm going to let all of you question my authority. Oh, come on, Doug. Well, let's spell it out. I don't do any rounds anymore. You don't do rounds anymore. Colin, well, we know what happened to him. So we're two people down straight away. Having an extra person will just make the day-to-day -day running of the office far more manageable. Clear? Crystal. I'm sorry, I didn't know you'd already had hassle off everyone. Well, you weren't to know. Look, I'll head down to reception to meet this Robbie guy. Um, I'll meet you in the office, yeah? OK. okay. All right, boys. Oh, hi, Rita. Oh, Miss Moneybags is back. With the hang out with the blue collars. Do you fancy getting your hands dirty again, Rita? Yes, that's right, Jack. I uh, smelt the money and I came running. I suspect when you're good enough, I'll make you make the coffee. White, hot and wet, Rita. You know I like it. He didn't mean it. Oh, I've heard it all before, Paul. He thinks that just because I'm in my 40s, I've lost touch with what young people get up to. I could tell some stories. <laughs> Make the limited contents of his trousers wish they'd shriveled up and dropped off at birth. Go, Reet. <laughs> Look, it isn't the same without you being here in the office with us. Why don't you come back? You don't need to be out in the other office on your own. Must be lonely for you working out there on your lonesome. It is sometimes, yeah. Yeah. I do miss working with you guys. Even Jack has his place, but I wouldn't tell him. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Bates. Oh, please call me Doug. It's Robbie. Oh, that's right, yes. Welcome to Doorstops. Oh, God. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did you hear me? Oh, no. Are you alright? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just on the way. step. We're really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. We can do the same thing. <laughs> so, how about it? For the first time in a long time, Paul. I've got stability in my life. Everything's good, you know. Ben's away at uni. He's having the time of his life. And I've just started living mine. I've got a bank account in the black and less hours to work, more time to go off and enjoy myself. Let's face it, we can always go to the pub and we don't have to talk about work. Oh, yeah, mine's a jack. And the beanstalk, Mr Harker, I think you were going to say. Anyway, stand by your beds, everybody. I'd like to introduce our new assistant. This is Robbie Dixon. Welcome to Doorstops, Robbie. Uh, this is Paul Rossington. Jack Hello. Harker. All right. Uh, and this is my leading lady, Rita Colshaw. Hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's great to meet you all at last. Well, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself then, Robbie? Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm Robbie Dixon. I've um, been in sales since... Oh, I don't know how long I've been in sales. Well, I sold some pro-thingy football cards to a friend when I was nine. Sounds like me, mate. Do you want me to have a cup of tea or something? Oh, uh, tea, please. Uh, coffee makes me wee quite a lot. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, just going on references and industry credentials, I think you're just going to be perfect for the job here, and I think your position is more than justifiable. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Banks. Doug, please. Oh, Doug. Um, oh, well, uh, is this my desk here? Oh, um, yeah, help yourself, Jeff. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Oh. oh, God, I'm really, really sorry. Um, oh, I knew something like this would happen. Um, look, I'm, I, I understand if... Um, <sighs> well, if, 
in doubt, I give it a clout. Well, you sold me a problem and saved me a pretty penny, I can tell you. Uh, but how about we step into my office and uh, discuss your contract away from the dangers of the working environment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen me drink tea yet. <laughs> uh, right, well, after you. <laughs> Maybe give him a bib. <laughs> If that's not dumbing down, I don't know what is. <sighs> Stuff it. I'll go for a fag. You sure you won't reconsider? I think I might just take the rest of the day off. Hi there. Yeah. Colin Reynolds, sorry to keep you waiting. How are you doing? You must be uh, Nikki, yeah? Yeah. Colin Reynolds, really nice to meet you. Love. Likewise. Welcome along to uh, Settlement.com. Well, thank you, but I haven't actually had my interview yet. <laughs> you see, Nikki, we're a rapidly expanding business. Ms. Etherton, I want people who are interested in their futures. We've got a job. You want a job, right? Yeah. Yep, and that's why I brought all my references, uh, certificates, tax stuff along. Good stuff. Well, I think you'll uh, fit in very nicely. Shall we uh, go and discuss how you're going to fit into our organisation here, Nicky? Just straight through, that's the way. Uh, anyone in there that shouldn't be? Please, please. I've had a break in. Hello, banks, cash and carry. We have the cash, you just carry it out. You okay, Doug? Well, if you brush aside the fact that Jack has been pissing me off all day, and I've had no lunch, and I've just come home to find some bastard has broken into my house, not stolen anything as such, but left it in a complete and utter mess, oh, and the milk's gone off in the fridge as well, my day's just been great. In fact, I could get used to the life of a tramp. OK, you can wait. <sighs> Go on, Reed. Oh, I've just found out some more information about Settlement.com. Go on. Well, they've got some serious financial backing. And they're hiring lots of staff. I think they're going to try and take the business. Small fish, big pond. I know. I'm, I'm not fussed about the business. It's Colin. Colin Reynolds. He's running it. My day just gets better and better.